Let's go! So guess what? I made it. I made it. And I'm looking at a big pile. Hello everyone. Pete over here, Craigslist Hunter. With Jim. That's his, uh, that's his overflow storage here. That it's piled up of all kinds of goodies. That we're gonna try to attempt to go through some of this stuff today. All kinds of stuff he's got here. Now look, that's a similar Tanka truck that I have. A fire truck. Brand new sealed DVDs here. Bunch of games. Whoop! Stuff is just coming down. Vintage signs here. We got a big Coke cooler right there. All kinds of goodies. So I'm gonna try to set it up here. Of course, another ugly day. It's raining. Uh, it's pouring cats and dogs. All day it's supposed to rain. It rained yesterday. It's raining today. At least it's it's not too cold. It's pretty warm. So we'll be okay. Hey, let's uh, let's set it up and uh, let's try. If I well, the way I want to do it, I'm not gonna film everything because it would be crazy. But if we if I dig out some interesting things, we'll put it on film. Funko Pops. The so first thing I come up to is this thing, and Jim says, "Hey, you ever seen a turntable with a TV?" I'm like, "No." And we keep looking at it, and then I figure well, this is actually not a TV. Because I looked at the scale here, I'm like, this is not for channels. And it's some kind of radio phono viewer. Obviously, this thing, this thing is kind of totally, totally busted. This handle is completely loose. But then you stick a film in here somehow. There's a focus on the side, and then it displays something on this screen. Definitely a toy. Interesting item. Never seen anything like that. I don't think it demands all kind of... Did you look this up, Jim, at all? Or? Yeah, I think they're only worth like 30 bucks. Yeah, that's what I thought. I was going to say 20, 30 bucks. So. They really just uh, something to stick on a shelf and talk about. Yeah. Alright. That's a... Little vintage can from Coleman, it's still full of gas. That's probably shouldn't be laying here on the side. Some glass. Oh, these are maybe coffee cups. Yeah, they're coffee cups with Chevy Elmhurst advertisement, Chevy dealer. Couple coffee cups here. All right, so here, fragile glass. What a year is that? Hmm. 1958, May 8. Got a little cognac. Glasses, brandy of Napoleon cognac. Little guys. Interesting. Um, yeah, I'll you know I'll look at it, but I, I, I'll be honest with you. Yeah, I think I think I quite a bit actually at the shop, so that's interesting. Wonder, oh my gosh, <laughs> you know what I'm thinking, right? Because that's my old store. Oh, yeah, you did say that. Yeah, my, uh, my store there was a hostess building, oh, Wonder Bread, and I just sold the last sign last year, the original sign. Yeah, I don't think I want it though. I mean, it, it's cool because it's just associated with my store, you know. It was a hostess building for 13 years. What are these? Formula One. Some kind of 
vintagey glasses. Original box. What's the date? 1965. No, January of 72. I think it was 65 cents to ship this. UPS. I'll set that aside. So what are these? Pim's Cup. P-I-M-M-S. Have any idea what that is? <laughs> kind of weird looking cups, coffee cups. I'm not an alcohol drinker, couldn't tell you. Original box though. March 1969, 81 cents to ship. UPS. Cool. You know what? Actually, there's two of them. St stick that right it's on cool. top there. Yeah. All right, another one. This one says December 27th, 78, 1978. So this one is a little bit younger. And this one costs already $1.11 to ship. Ice cream? Oh, those are neat. I got a feeling if I bring this to the shop, Adrian's going to be all over my ass. <laughs> There's two of them. All right. They're cool. Here, can you set them there? Tripod. This is my tripod, guys. Right here. This is my tripod. I attach my camera to it. Yeah, it works. It works for sure. These are very cool. Walt Disney cells. Some kind of art, meaning like, because it's got all these pins, pinholes going all the way around, so it was stretched on something against some kind of window or something. Or maybe just light shining yeah. through it. I, but now this one is all kinds of characters, all mixed up, you know. Yeah, interesting. I don't know what they are. I don't know if they're worth any money either. Same thing. This is the same one. Somewhere in the night. Actually, I was looking at this earlier. But, you know, to me, looking very close, and it has a, like a Des Plaines art gallery stamp on it. Why would somebody stamp it right in the middle? Beats me. But I actually, I think this might be original. Looking at the actual print, I don't see that this has like a any kind of printing from a printer, you know? Mm -hmm. No dots. No uh, dot makers. Yeah, Triangle Music Corporation, New York. This is... I don't, I have no idea I know this movie. I don't. I, Somewhere in the night. I, Three I don't know if it's a movie or it's just some kind of show. In Technicolor, so it's yeah. got to be a movie, right? Yeah. Let's set that aside for now. There. Charlie's Angels. But obviously, this is you know the the latest movie. 
of Charlie's Angels. What is this? Jessica Simpson. Is she still around? What happened to her? She was in a lot of stuff, you know. What is this? Oh, look at that. Circus, Britney Spears. She still has a pretty strong following. Yeah. You know what? Set that aside. Christina Aguilera, Bucket to Basics. Yeah, she has a pretty strong following too. Oh, that's their, their advertisements from like a... Every time you release the record or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Destiny Child. <laughs> that's pretty cool too. Here, let's set this one aside. What is this one? Oh, also double sided too. Oh yeah, yeah. No idea. No idea. <laughs> Kelly Sweet. Looks pretty impressed though. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, so we'll set these aside. Alright, let's keep digging. What is this? Looks like a VCR in a box. Looks like the original remote control. Is it original so unit in here though? Yep, RCA. Wish it was a better brand, but it is what it is. And it does have original box. And the remote, hopefully she works. Uh, let's set that aside. We got more glasses here. Wolfschmidt vodka. I don't know about that. I like the way you said it though. <laughs> Why? <laughs> it's an accent. Wolfschmidt? <laughs> it sounds like it's. Sounds like you know what you're saying. Some plates. I probably butchered that word. This is something that it's always dangerous. Summer, the mysterious melody. Yep. So that looks like, uh, yeah, Rockwell. Norman Rockwell. I think this guy is on every <laughs> Played out there every picture. I mean, the market is just crazy on Rockwell. Fragile glass, handled with care. Barton's Brands, first class, 1975, $2.29 US postage. Montezuma tequila imported from Mexico. Why is it so dirty? Hmm. I don't even know if this still exists, that brand. Look at this box of all these. How you say this name? Nihaf? 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 Ignition parts, these, so these are all car parts. These little guys. All brand new. You probably got a hundred of them here or more. Oh, there's some AC Delco in there too, that's good. Delco stuff is probably got a little more value. A beard Warner. You want that box aside? No. <laughs> I'll, I'll come across it again someday. Chicago, Lawrence Avenue. What's in this box? Yeah. 
Yeah, look at that boy. Got some paperwork. Allied Radio, Jackson Boulevard, Chicago. Let's see if we got a date on this. December 21st, 1942. Wow. That's the date. Order That's filed. And there's also a stamp. Chicago, December 23rd, 1942. Like something was mailed to them. Pretty cool. This is an oldie for sure. This is the one that you install needles inside and then you tie them up with that little screw. It says dollar fifty <laughs> price. That is a cool piece. Well, the problem is I got so many of these different turntables at my shop and they're just sitting and who knows when people are gonna start coming in and buying this kind of stuff so as cool, it is, as, cool as this is normally I would grab this but I think I gotta say no right now which kind of sucks it's reality of concentrating on the stuff that I can actually put online and move you know mm -hmm. till the doors open until we see actually that things are moving again got to be really careful what you spend on your money because you know if I buy this and it's gonna sit now for who knows for how long and especially if I got a bunch of it already kind of tricky now all right we got we got zillion bazillion baseball cards 91, 88, 88, no, I'm not touching this stuff, nope, nope, it's a good fire starter, I don't know, but, what is this, no parking, city of Chicago, love that, yeah. set that aside, Danger, falling material, love that. These are heavy signs too. Yeah. This one is a little lighter, but same thing, no trespassing. This one is, well this one is really heavy. Caution, eye protection area and mask. That's a cool one. That's porcelain. For sure, yeah. magazines live bunch of these guys 1972 May 50 cents Vietnam retreat okay. All right, my glasses are totally fogging up I gotta take this off it's so faded out I can't see the date I was hoping see a date what do we got in here what are these these are decals because this is Looks like, oh, this. this is <laughs> this is what the world's greatest grandpa looks like <laughs> huh. is this all came out out of the same place or this is a mixture yeah, of everything all came out of the same place. okay This is an old, old photo that it's disintegrating. Look oh, at this. Wow. Yeah, that's old. Wow. And it's falling apart totally. But it's on some kind of canvas. 1907. Wow. Man, it's rough. January 19, 1907. Crazy. Ooh, look at that, 1997. You know, this is perfect item to have right now because of that new release. Did you start watching that on uh, ESPN, no. The Last Dance? So I saw the first two episodes, excellent. I, 
every Sunday now, I think there's a total of eight episodes. So this, this last dance is the footage that ESPN filmed following the team 98 season pretty much all year. That was never released to the public and now they put it all together and they put it eight episodes on ESPN. Very interesting. First two episodes were very cool and they're they're like really showing what's happening behind the scenes, you know, and, and how all the players are interacting with each other. Pretty cool. So this is perfect item to have right now because lots of people are watching this and they uh, they'll, they definitely uh, be buying stuff like this. So we'll set that aside. So I just found this in a pile. Play six video games in a turn of a dial. I got this as a gift. My dad, <clears throat> he was here in U.S. in 1978 to 1977 uh, to 78 on a project. My dad was an electric engineer. He was here for like eight or nine months on a project. He came back to Poland. He brought this as a gift for me. Oh, really? Fortunately, this is empty. There's nothing in here except, except the gun. But the actual system is gone. The box is so cool, though. I'll tell you what, if you want it to put on display in your basement, I will. You can have it. It brings back that many memories. Wow, I can't believe you have this here. <laughs> Does it say a year anywhere on this? Yeah, 1977. Coleco Industries. So amazing. Thanks, man. I really appreciate it. I'll definitely, it's going to go on display in my man cave. So cool. Thank you, Jim. No problem. I know we barely scratched the surface, but <laughs> it's like impossible. I got to be here for the next 17 days to go through all this shit. <laughs> Couple Heineken signs here. Definitely vintage. That's probably 70s, early 80s. Set these couple aside. Mm -hmm. More precious oh, it's moments. more of those precious moments yeah. uh, artwork. Anybody know anything about those? Not, not my cup of tea, though. This one doesn't have a date. The other ones had the date. Yeah, it's supposedly uh, pre-production artwork. I can hear everybody screaming. Peter, Peter, put him, put him aside. Well, I don't know enough about him. Can know everything about everything. Couple die casts. There, probably not big money here, but set these aside. Probably fifteen, twenty dollars a piece, maybe. Who knows? What are these? Oh no, I was just looking at that. That's cool. Milton Bradley, the challenging computer numbers game. Huh. Looks like it's all here. Let me move this here. Let me put you on my trusty tripod. Look at that. Takes batteries. Huh. Little dusty, little dirty. It looks like it was played but put right back in a box, you know, and yeah. and sat in a box for 30 years. Or more. This is probably 70s again. 1977. Man, that guy liked that date, 1977. Here, set that aside. I don't know, you seen any comps on that? Trivia game, Simpsons, sealed. Woohoo, 25 years. Oh yeah, 40 bucks, nice. But the one without the box is only 14, but we got the box, so. This is 2013, sealed. I don't know if that's worth anything, but it's sealed. Another sealed one. Classic game of people, places, and things. 20 questions, university games. Look at that, that's sealed. Bing Bang Terry. They're ended, right? There was a season finale last year. Yeah. I think they're done. 
Somebody will want that. Yep. There's a huge following for these guys. Star Wars. Also sealed. Puzzle. A little puzzle, 500 pieces. 112 dominoes. Question is, are they complete? I think they are. Definitely vintage. I'll take a shot on that. All right, we got to another bin. What is that? More games. Baby Boomer Edition. <laughs> What are these? Oh, those are uh, cylinders for the. Uh, they're like uh, Victrola. Yeah. Like uh, wax cylinders, I believe. It's cool. Awesome. Yeah, that's cool. Somebody will want that. Anybody that collects anything. First of all, with with Edison, and anything with music. Oh, look at these blue ones. So the music is stored all the way across and this would turn and the needle will go from left to right or whatever. Yep. Look what we digged out out of here. Simple little... Old press steel scooter. Yeah, little scooter. The wheels actually, easy way, wheels are made out of it's like aluminum covered. Huh, interesting. Because they're not rusted, right? So yeah. the upper part here is definitely steel and rusted, but look how simple that is. Yeah, the wheels look like maybe spot aluminum. I'm gonna set that to the side. Old photo albums or scrapbook. Oh, look at these. These are. Wedding cards. Huh. Christmas. Look how fragile this paper is. Hmm. Yeah. Season greetings, more Christmas. Some sort underneath 1960. More Christmas cards. Crazy. We're gonna hold off on those put aside. You like that kind of stuff? Yeah, I got a friend that they collect that kind of yeah. stuff. Yeah. Oh, more of these boxes. See, first I thought these were GI Joe boxes, but it doesn't say GI Joe on them. This one is a little bit different. supposed to have an insert inside for all these toys yeah like this one oh but this one is missing the display but you also said that that might be by Sears right because Sears yeah, used yeah Sears had their own version of GI Joe I can't yeah. I can't remember the because this has no name, name but no name on it whatsoever this one is this box is a little bit different. Yeah. This this is plastic, this is wood. So look at that coke. All original here. We got crap inside. <laughs> oh this is another storage container. Look at that. Mount those to hood your truck. You know what? Set that aside. Stuff like this weird, especially when they added this on yeah, the bottom the and like and a, yeah, it will it will sell. Combo guitar. Look at that. So. focused 
on advertising. Very cool piece. It says on the bottom, way on the bottom, ice cold. Sounds good. Camel clock. Camel stuff is hit and miss. Look at that oldie. Old style. Look, look how the bulbs burn the hole on the back. They were too close. Somebody put the wrong one. Look. Somebody put the wrong one in the hole in there, yeah. probably. These look like Christmas bulbs. Yeah. I don't want to break it. That's a cool piece. I'll take that. It's an old one for sure. Little helmet. Jim Bean. That's interesting. I don't know why he has these spikes. Something's missing. Something went on top of this to display even more Jim Bean or advertising or something. Good and tight. Kind of cool. I like that too. We got a couple fans here. This is a basic General Electric. Got a kind of cool color to it that teal looking needs to be cleaned up, but the battery still going. Yeah. Five percent. Yeah, those are my biggest fans. Yeah, mine yeah. too. <laughs> <laughs> what is this one? Cable is spliced. Oh, heavy, good. Emerson. Heavy one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. A little fragile. Cool looking, though. It's the isolating one, but something is missing here on the bottom. Kind of ripped. The screw came out. Oh, yeah. Nice and heavy, huh? Emerson Seagull. I see one more in there. Can I get to it? Oh. Take this flyer. Let's go! Oh man, this thing is heavy. I can't do it with one hand. Kids were a lot stronger back then. Oh, look at that. Model 33, and it has a sticker made in China. It will still, it will still sell eventually when we open. I like that. It's just the brand, you know. People like that brand a lot, so. Got the right look to it too. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, little guy. Cold, cold air. Interesting. Cold air. Huh? What is this? Oh, that's just a bottle. Yeah. All right. If the battery dies, I got five percent left. We're done with this camera. Let's see, I see. I want to dig in there because I see a clock on a body. Duncan spin tops accessory pack. Let's move this over here. Look at that. Radio News, February 1944. Matches. Look at that. You know, there was a moment that I did okay with matches, but. Kind of Japanese. No, it says China. That's what I was digging for. American clock. That's a. This is not old, but it looks old. It looks cool. And it was bought at Sabers for who knows how much. Hmm. I think it's like one of those Hobby Lobby repops, you know? Two year warranty made in America. 2% left on a camera. 
and then it should go dead. Should I take this or not? I have a 7-up sign right now that it's been in the shop for a long time, so... No, get this. All this stuff here, everything here, it's going with me. Hopefully, if we agree on a price, what are you thinking, Jimmy? Oh. Are you going to beat me up this time or what? Or are you going to be good to me oh, again? Does everybody want me to beat you up? Oh, of course everybody wants you. No, no, no. Everybody says just give it to Pete. No. What are you thinking? Well, you're going to buy the stuff to resell, so. Well, that's the idea. Yeah. Oh, boy. Um, I'm thinking 250. <laughs> 250. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this is going to be hard because every time you make a good deal, it was always just put it right here. Love it. Okay. <laughs> 250 works beautiful i think you leave me enough meat on the bone here to to make some money although a few things kind of questionable here but but some of this stuff uh will bring some good I money i think that's pretty fair yeah look at that packed up full truck love it all right guys another good one appreciate everybody watching i appreciate jim letting <laughs> me go through this pile no problem. Again, which we barely look. Yeah. This is this is what I went through and one bin out of there. Everything else is still untouched. So there'll be definitely more trips here. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Catch you on the next one. Cheers. <laughs>